enough there isn't you know any viscera in any of this it's all gone <laughs> anybody else have a comment or questions how long have you been um, absorbed in this presentation you know this move um, this well probably I don't know when I started it exactly five or six years maybe, but I had two years of illness in the middle of it, so we can't count that. Yes, we can. No, we can't. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. 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 I just, you know, working on a series like this is no different for an artist than it is for a chemist who's in the lab doing an experiment. You do one and you learn something, and so then you do another one. But you can't do all the, answer all the questions in each one you do. So sometimes the answer causes you to bifurcate, and now you have to do two. And maybe that solution doesn't come through either, so then you have to do two more or four more. And that's what happens when you, when you go in series. I could also comment to you that when I'm painting, I use the same piece of music on a given piece from beginning to end. And the reason I do that is because it puts the glue between one day and the next. Because I'm different. Every day I wake up and go down there, I could read, in fact, I often repaint the whole thing every day. I make adjustments everywhere. But if I have the same music on, it's as if I never left the studio to go to sleep. I come back in, say music song, oh, here we are again. And let's go back after it. Yeah, Pat. Most of your backgrounds are gray. You go black, maybe. Do you comment on, um, was that intentional or just a clear error that I'm taken by the consistency of all the backgrounds? This one is. No, I don't. No, I don't think that I've done that consciously. Um, I think it's the the weight that it adds. I mean, would would you get the same punch if you saw a skinned deer on a white sheet of paper? I mean, it was really effective. I'm just curious. What you no, mean. I think it's instinct. A lot of this whole thing is intuitive, instinctive. And I, when I'm in the zone, I don't really know what's going on. A lot of times, I'm just painting, as I was telling Dave Rand tonight, when I'm working with mixed media, I want something wet, something dry, something light, something dark, and that's all. And when I'm in the zone, it doesn't even matter what I reach for. Now, another thing that I didn't see until I had all the collection done and up was that all of the legs go off the page. There isn't a hook on there. Mm -hmm. And I didn't know that until they were all done. Mm -hmm. I wish I hadn't done that. <laughs> but I wasn't conscious of it. Okay. Yeah, yeah, Deborah. To a question, like, do you start with a, a ground and color in particular, or do you just go with the white and then start putting in the imagery and then? Just a minute. I, I, I lost you when you asked me about something about starting with a, oh, the ground. A colored ground or gray ground? No, no, no. It all goes on at the same time. I don't use a background air color and then put on top. Natalie. Yeah, I have a good question since I'm stuck in the studio and I'm working with my 
Dr. Christine in here tonight who has helped familiarize all of us being in close living as part of the years of care families and gone through the process of taking over part of the care mm -hmm. through their own lives. <coughs> and so it's really a different experience to walk into the show and have it feel so familiar and feel like when I see some of those images, I know what they feel like. Mm -hmm. and so I don't think this would go real well in some of the big cities. No, I don't think they'll see it on the island. My agent said, looked at, um, there's one called uh, Still Life with Bags, somewhere here. And she corrected me when she went through my inventory and she said, no, it's not those. It's I think it's a black and white one. It's just yeah. one. Okay. That's a nice one. She said, Rebecca, there's a typo here. It should be still. I said, no. They're dead. It's still light. <laughs> With bags or head or whatever it is. On <laughs> and she she's German. And she said, well, nobody in Germany would get that. <laughs> no. Sure. In Germany. <laughs> and another thing in my artist statement, it said something like, um, uh, when Reve goes back to South Dakota for the harvest, and after the hunt, da 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 And she said, this is very confusing. You're talking about harvest, and then you talk about hunt. I said, yeah, mm -hmm. they happen at the same time. Well, nobody in Germany would understand that. <laughs> and so you've got to modify that sentence. So of course, I did that to clarify it. But it's funny how this is going to be received differently in different places. And I'm, I'm fully aware of that. I think, actually, we're gearing up. Uh, it's going to be going to Canada next uh, in, the, in 2022. And we have some ideas about Germany and, uh, and other places in Europe for the same uh, in the years that follow. So I'm really pleased to be able to show it at home first. Yeah, really. yeah.